Hey everybody, I thought I would do a quick video on the topic of Zoom bombing. <laughs> so, a couple days ago, the FBI posted up uh, an, a warning to businesses and schools that people have been hijacking their video conferences with disturbing videos, images, and sounds, porn, <laughs> and just disrupting video conferences. So I wanted to do a video to talk about the three tips I recommend to prevent anybody Zoom bombing your meetings. So real quick, I'm gonna share my screen. I'm going to zoom.us on the website. You can do this with your Outlook plugin also. But when you schedule a meeting, the three things you want to focus on, well, number one, meeting ID. You always want to generate your meeting automatically. <laughs> number one, from a support perspective, <laughs> it's great. Because if you have a problem with a meeting and you have a unique um, meeting ID, we can use that to check the logs and, and troubleshoot. Uh, but <laughs> the, the, having a meeting, gen meeting number generated automatically every single time. It minimizes somebody um, getting into your public um, meeting. So the second thing is require a meeting password. You can do that um, all the time. You can do it on specific meetings. Um, and in the meeting password, you can have the link sent um, in Outlook so they can just automatically uh, join with that password. And the third thing, this does require a little bit of intervention, uh, is enable waiting room. What would happen is anybody that would join your meeting would go into a waiting room, a holding pattern, until you're ready for everybody to come and join your meeting. So the intervention would be when you're ready, you have to, in, you have to invite everybody uh, from the waiting room into the actual meeting. But <laughs> those are the three things that you could do to prevent Zoom, Zoom bombing. Make sure that every single meeting, you're generating a meeting ID automatically, require a password, and if you're up for it, enable a waiting room. So that's it. If you have any other comments or suggestions or anything else on Zoom or other topics, make sure you comment below in the team area that I'm posting this on, and you can obviously send me an email. So have a great day, remote computing guys, and be safe. Don't get Zoom bombed. Bye.